Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about the short story Leaving by Monique uh, Coulierier, and I'm not pronouncing that name right, I'm guessing, um, but forgive me on that. Um, with that, let's go ahead and hop into a opening passage for the story. The boat made its way out past the church spire and the clusters of buoys. Simone had taken one of the smaller boats, with no cabin, only a small shade canopy from the sun. She sat at the wheel while Lilith perched on the side, looking curiously around her. Are the buoys for buildings close to the surface? You got it. The church spire is the only thing tall enough to see. But there are, well, you can see how many are close. We didn't have any tall buildings, not on the atoll I'm from anyway. There was nothing left when the water rose. The image hit Simone hard, and it suddenly occurred to her that she was quite dependent on what she could see, on knowing that, though the old harbor was gone, the old buildings submerged, she could spend time with them whenever she wanted. Which takes us into our summary for this story. Leaving by Monique Collier uh, tells the story of a woman deciding whether to live after climate disaster has ruined large portions of the earth. While there are other effects of climate change, the primary one discussed in the story is rising water levels. Many areas around the world have had to retreat from the shoreline, and off-planet immigration is encouraged as a strategy to reduce the population currently living on Earth. Space travel seems affordable to most, and colonies are already set up on Titan, Venus, Mars, and elsewhere. Our main character Simone runs a dive shop that explores the flooded remains of her hometown. She's reluctant to move off-planet and is struggling with the recent death of her girlfriend Mallory, who was struck by a vehicle while bicycling. While going around town, Simone meets Lilith. Lilith is an off-planet immigration specialist who is sent to encourage people to sign up for Venus, Mars, or elsewhere. Simone continues to encounter Lilith around town, and the two go diving together. After discussing with Lilith and having dinner with her, Simone seems more comfortable with the possibility of travel. The story ends with her choosing to focus on the present rather than on the past or the future. Which takes us into our notes. Uh, to quote from the introduction to Bikes Not Rockets, the anthology the story comes from, quote, The stories in this volume, however, all do suggest a point. They show people reaching out to each other and working together despite the odds and across great barriers, personal differences, class, nation, gender, species, and even time. Like all good science fiction should, they speculate about the limits of our humanity, our flexibility, our potential, and the choices we allow ourselves and each other. There is hope to be found in that, our potential to help each other forward." Unquote. Take some time to think about this mission statement in regards to this story and others. It's also worthwhile to compare this statement against mainstream science fiction and to see how it compares. Which, again, takes us into our big question for this story. Um, one of the big questions of the story is about mindset, then. With climate change, disasters, and tragic life events, how should we as individuals choose to respond when things are at the point when they are out of our control? What kind of mindset does the story encourage? And as always, cite the text and any other sources to support your answer. With that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.